Hello everybody, I'm back with another tier 5 quest building guide. Today, we will talk about Pops and Pew factory. This factory is a new building in Alpha 20. So I would say I have the least experience in this building compared to other tier 5 quests. However, the difficulty of this building is not that high. So let's grab quest and see for yourself how to do Pops and Pew factory. You can grab this tier 5 quest building by selecting Factory 03 from the trader. The first room of this factory already has a lot of zombies, so non-stealth build should be careful. For stealth build, usually I start from the left side. Clear the security room, usually have two policemen zombie inside. Then I will move to restroom. Clear this restroom. But before you move on, please destroy this bathroom store door and clear the hidden spidey zombie inside. Afterward, now it's time for you to clear the lobby and another office in the first floor. Go up this stair and you will find 4 to 5 businessmen zombie waiting for you. At the second floor, clear the office on your right. You will end up in this area, kill one white zombie in this tank. Next, open this garage door and clear the whole room. Climb up the ladder, go out the exit door, immediately look up and clear zombie that's waiting to ambush you from above. You need to walk through this office, clear one zombie, go out the exit door, you will end up on the roof which has a lot of zombies. So be ready and clear them all. Afterward, you should walk to this metal gate, go inside. You will need to walk down the stair and the first stop is at this blue door. It will lead you to a little garden and we always had one zombie inside. Go back to the stair and walk down to this area. You will need to clear these zombies that are spawned behind this thatch. Continue to walk down the stair again until you reach this wooden plate. There will always have one spider zombie spawn in this little cave. Clear him and then go back down to the end of the stair. Open this garage door. In this pathway, there will always have one zombie spawn in this spot. And if you are stealth build, you need to destroy this barrier in order to kill him. You can ignore the area under because no zombie will spawn there. The garage door in front of you will be locked. You need to go into this room and turn on the switch. Now the garage door in front of you will be unlocked. However, if you go in, you can get ambushed. So be careful. For stealth build who want to flank zombies from behind, you can go back to this pathway and go into this garage door that was locked before. Now it will be open, go in and flank zombies that are waiting to ambush you from behind. Afterward, go into this locker room and clear it. Continue with this engine room and then this area is completely clear. Now you can run. This conveyor room will have no zombie spawn inside, but there are pops and pills stash that waiting for you to loot above. You can loot it if you want. You will end up in this rest area. Sometimes there will be one zombie spawn in the storage room here. I don't know about this rest room on the left. I still never encounter one zombie inside, but please check these two rooms before you move on. Now we will reach the last area. Yes. This quest is not that big, however, prepare yourself before you open this garage door. There will be so much zombie in the loot tribe area, in the left room area, and from the floor above. For non-stealth build, have fun and don't die. For stealth build, if you want to sweep an area in one go, you can follow my step. What I usually do is that I will walk down to the loot shy area. You can kill zombies that you can see. However, I will sweep from this little right tunnel, kill zombie in this area. Afterward, I will clear the middle area, which is where loot shy is located. Then circling around to this left little tunnel, clear it the same as another sign. Afterward, I will walk into this lab area. There will be two mutated zombies in these two tanks. Depends on your game stage, they might be radiated. Also, in this room, we have a lot of scientist zombie and another tanky zombie in this restroom at the end on the left side. I'm not sure if it only spawns tourist zombies, 
but the last three times that I play, it usually be a radiated tourist zombie. After this area is clear, you will have two stairs for you to choose to go up. But for me, I like to sweep it in one go, not going back and forth. So I will go into this exit door and clear this worker zombie hidden behind the stair in this level. After you clear this worker zombies, you can go up to the top of the stair. Ignore this exit door because it's the way out of the factory. Once you reach this area above, clear the whole room and then go out to this catwalk. Turn right and then you will circle around this upper level from right to left. Clear this area on your right. Clear this room with a lot of scientist zombies. Reaching this area with a lot of worker zombies. And then congratulations, you just clear Pop and Peel Factory. After you go back to loot try and loot to your heart content, now go back to this door at the main stair, go out this exit door, use this switch to open a wall hatchable, which is the exit of this factory. As you can see, this building is not that big, so the required time to finish this quest is usually not more than 15 minutes for stealth build. For run and gun, it can go much more faster. The pathway of this factory is also linear, so it's easy for navigation. However, due to the fact that the last area has infested with so many zombies, I'm hesitating to recommend this place for a beginner. Personally, I still think that Jamwave Factory and Shotgun Messiah Factory are a good place for beginner to try and practice on tier 5 quests. But that's just my opinion. As I said from the last video, this factory is a good example for a new design. In new design in Alpha 20, the navigation is not that complicated. There are less hidden trap, hidden room. However, at the last area, always have a challenge, a big challenge waiting for you. So I hope you enjoy playing in this brand new tier 5 quest in Alpha 20. I have only two more videos to go through, which is hospital and apartment building. Next video, let's talk about hospital building. Even though there is nothing changed in this building at all, I will still make a video for the hospital tutorial. So, see you next time. Goodbye.